Ksenia Mia Brogilovsky, this is my hotel room again, it's 11.30 uh, in uh, the evening on the 3rd of April now. Uh, just try to call your regional police was unsuccessful because everyone was uh, busy with the 911 emergencies apparently. So no one picked up my um, call when I called the 1-800 um, line, the non-emergency line. I went to the York uh, Regional Police District number 4. Uh, to get uh, York Regional Police to open the door to my house, okay, because the uh, someone changed the lock without notifying me, nor sharing the key with me. So as I told you already, um, effectively the province of Ontario forced me out of my own home on the 31st of January, uh, which uh, followed me essentially flying out of Canada uh, to report about my case to the international community so that someone knows about what's being done to me here on Canadian soil in the past um, 13, 16 years now, 17, 18 actually, since 2006. Um, on the premises of York Regional Police District number four, I was kept uh, waiting for someone to come over and to help me out in the situation. I was uh, kept there for more than half an hour uh, with the stage being set to resemble the uh, Soviet Union, okay? Inclusivity of all and uh, babies and uh, talking and uniformed uh, uh, policing uh, high officers flying with the high flags uh, dying gracefully. So Soviet Union, uh, a utopia kind of uh, that never existed. Soviet Union was a highly exclusive society and everyone knows about that, okay? So that's not uh, uh, sort of uh, something new that no one knows. Uh, Soviet Union was just that. Uh, uh, plan economy uh, of uh, great uh, vast uh, uh, of anyway the the great territories of the 16 countries that comprise the union um, and I was a dirt cheap slave labor I was just slave um, sort of not the pure white but with the uh, mother who is half and half sort of thing, father fleeing, me living in Uzbekistan, compared to Felix Mann and compared to Christian Chilochi type of uh, uh, white uh, privileged males, I was just no one, no one. And so coming here to Canada, being uh, constantly sort of uh, uh, denied um, medical services, denied normal employment opportunities, denied normal property. Uh, you've just perpetuated the high exclusive society. You've employed all the uh, white uh, dicks into positions of power and you've disregarded me completely. You've denied me earning potential. You've denied me health. You've denied me property. You've denied me support. The York Regional Police kept me in the staged environment for 13 minutes without providing any help, okay? Knowingly, knowingly, I was under close supervision by very many cameras in the building and I was just kept there waiting uh, to get help. Sit in this chair and wait, sit in this chair and wait, okay? So that's the kind of the abuse that was supplied to me. Uh, needless to say, I stated just that, that uh, I feel I'm being abused. I'm going to wait for the police on site of where their uh, help is needed. And so this is how it was done um, in like for the past 18 years. I was effectively denied the right of uh, um, a citizen, a resident or a human being. I was denied uh, uh, healthcare. I was denied safety and security of my personal spaces. I was denied uh, employment opportunities. I was denied property rights, okay? And uh, to this day, policing is, um, is perpetuating all of that. So I don't know why they're acting and throwing this sort of theater into my face when uh, it's not their mandate. It's not the Canadian way. It's not what I came here for, okay? This is not... Uh, uh, the 70% Caucasians, 30% uh, uh, other nations, okay? And then uh, in Lord, uh, our Lord, this, there are references to Lord. This is bullshit. This is all set up. Whatever I've encountered today uh, at District Number 4 uh, on Rutherford Road was uh, just staged. I need help. I, someone uh, is just 
vandalizing my property. I don't understand how hard it is. Your mandate is to help in situations like that. Your mandate is not only death, life or death situation. I don't want to be in a life or death situation in perpetuity. I'm not a man. I want comfortable life. I want normal quality healthcare. I want pro uh, normal quality property. I want uh, to be able to associate with people I want to associate with. Why do you put me in a situation of a gulag? You put me in a situation like I, I, it's been uh, in the Soviets and as if I am some sort of uh, uh, an outcast. Why are you doing this? This is not the Canadian way. What you are uh, playing out here, the performance is that of a Soviet Union. But that's not what I came here for. Why are you doing? What's this uh, theater for? Nor uh, is this the way of the uh, mo modern Russian Federation. That's not. I don't understand what you are trying to make up. But you are abusing. You are abusing me. I need help to get a roof over my head. Are you going to pay for the electricity bill? Are you going to pay for my accommodations? Why are you doing this to me? I don't understand. What is the stage performance? You've denied me every basic right in the past 16 years. And now you're calling me one, another calling me, another calling me, this voicemail, that voicemail, uh, call here, but when I call, no one is speaking up, and then I come, and then no one is there to help. What the hell? What the hell? Why am I being abused like that? 